In today's video, I'm going to be giving you five of the most in demand print on demand items that you should be offering right now. Now, before we do go ahead and get started, I want to know exactly what your thoughts are on print on demand down in the comments below. Let me know if it's something that you've been wanting to try, if it's something that you've been thinking about, or if it's something that you're really just not interested in at all. Whatever it is, let me know your thoughts on print on demand or POD down in the comments below. At the moment, print on demand is one of the most lucrative businesses that you can start that you can be pretty hands off with. Once you get the first part of the work done, which is pretty much just designing a couple of products and uploading them, you're pretty much done. You're not having to print or fulfill anything. This is all being done by your print providers. Now, the great thing about print on demand is the simple fact that you have so much creative freedom and you have tons of different products that you can offer all completely customizable to your liking or to as how you see fit to work best for your brand. Now, for those of you that don't know, print on demand is now available through AutoDS. So if you're a member of the AutoDS family, then you automatically have the option to be able to start printing some awesome print on demand items. Now, if you're not a member of AutoDS just yet, then don't worry if you want to try us out. If you just want to test out the waters, you can go ahead and start your trial right now for just $1. But really quick, this is what it looks like. So once you sign up and you're signed on to the AutoDS system, the first thing you need to do is simply just go on over to the print on demand tab. Once you're on here, you're going to see tons of different items. You're going to see some for men, some for women, some for kids, some for the house. You're going to have a little bit of a lot of different things. You have a ton of options. So taking a quick look through some of them, you can see that they have some hoodies, a couple of different shirts, some stuff for kids, keeps growing a little bit more. You have some basic t-shirts and pretty much with all of these, you're able to print your design on either the front or the back, but you're not limited to just that. So if you scroll down a little bit more, you can find some products that are all over prints. So what that means is that you can literally print on the entire garment. So take this hoodie, for example, on this one, you're actually able to print on the entire thing. So you can print from the hood all the way to the ends of the sleeves and the bottom of the hoodie. So this really allows you to get a lot more detailed and a lot more creative with your brand or with your products. Now, that's just a sneak peek into our print on demand system. If you want to learn more, just make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you don't miss out on any future videos that have to do with both print on demand and drop shipping. So without waiting any longer, let's go ahead and dive into the five products that you should be offering through your print on demand business. And the first one is going to be the infamous T-shirt. What kind of print on demand store are you if you don't offer T-shirts? T-shirts were pretty much the basis of the entire print on demand system. Everything started with a T-shirt. So check these out through Etsy, which is pretty much going to be your best place for print on demand products, either to do product research, to sell them or to even purchase some yourself on Etsy. You're going to find tons of different types of T-shirts for the most part, though, some of the most popular ones have to be quotes. Now, when it comes to quotes on T-shirts, you can pretty much put almost anything that you want, but there are certain quotes or certain sayings that are going to be copyright. So just watch out for that. So pretty much the same way that you can't put any trademarked characters or any brands on a sweater or on a hoodie or on a t-shirt. So pretty much you can't print Nike on your own apparel. Same goes for certain slogans. So let's take, for example, a very generic one. I don't know about all of you, but I used to be, and I still am a huge fan of the Power Rangers. And back in the day, the original slogan was it's morphin time. You can't put that on a t-shirt. You can get sued. That slogan, the whole thing is trademarked. You are not allowed to print that. So that's just something that you should keep in mind. But if you look through some of these, some of these are actually extremely easy and they're very basic. You can take the style of some of these different ones and just change up the wording as well. So just look at this one. Everyone was thinking it. I just said it. This is extremely basic. It's extremely simple. Coming up with ideas for sayings is extremely easy. All you really have to do is just go on chat GPT. Of course, you're not limited to just shirts with quotes on them. You can pretty much print a shirt with whatever you want on it. But just to give you a heads up, quote t-shirts are extremely popular. Next up, we have one of my favorites and that's struggling more than I should have with this. Wearable blankets. These things are absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love mine. Wearable blankets lately have been extremely popular. I've seen them in pretty much every single person's house that I've been to at this point. Now, the cool thing about these is the fact that through prints on demand, you can customize your own. If you have an idea for a really cool design that you can put on a wearable blanket, you can go ahead and design it and slap it on there. Just take a look at this one that I found on Etsy. Space Mountain Hooded Sherpa Blanket. This thing is absolutely insane. I think it looks super cool. 
As you can see, this one looks to be a little bit bigger than the one that I have. So I think it might be time for an upgrade. But overall, this is something that's extremely cool. It's something that a lot of people love to have. People use them in their office. I use mine in my office all the time and people use them throughout the house. This is something that is extremely cozy and especially during the winter months and at night, people are going to be using it all the time. Before we move on to the third option though, I do want to let you all know that every single product that I'm covering on here is available through the AutoDS print on demand system. So you don't have to look for one product through one printer or another product through a different printer and just have a bunch of different suppliers for your different types of products. Everything here, everything that I'm talking about in this video is available to you in the AutoDS system. So make sure you take advantage. All right, let's get back to it. All right, so next up we have holiday baby onesies. Baby onesies are gold mines. People buy these all the time because for one people are always having babies people are popping out babies left and right but on top of that they're always outgrowing everything that they have and especially new parents when it comes time for a new holiday or the kids first holiday they want to go all out they want to make sure they always remember that special holiday as the first one that they had with their child and it's totally understandable i'm one of those parents so because of that, holiday baby onesies are extremely lucrative. And the best part about it is that you have something different throughout the entire year. There's always some sort of holiday going on, whether that be Christmas, Hanukkah, Halloween, Valentine's Day, a birthday, whatever it may be, parents are going to celebrate it and parents are going to buy accessories and onesies for their kids. So looking through some of the ones here, you can see that some of them are just extremely simple. This one here just has three words, best gift ever, done simple straight to the point let's look for reviews for this item so this item actually has 64 reviews that means at the very minimum 64 people have purchased this particular onesie now that doesn't include the people that don't leave reviews on etsy there's tons of people that don't leave reviews so this has sold a lot more let's look through a few other ones you can see that there's some other ones that are a bit more festive so look at this one right here actually we really like this one chill dude then you also have this one right here my first christmas alexander this one's actually customized there's a way to customize different products through prints on demand and if that's something that interests you make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're going to be covering all of this in future videos but other than that just scroll down a little bit let's see a few different options and this is one thing that I do want to point out. So there are a few different types of onesies that you do want to offer. So you're going to have the ones that are long sleeve and you're going to have the ones that are short sleeve. I highly suggest offering both because depending on where your customer is located, it might either be really hot or really cold. So for example, where I'm located at in South Florida, it's always extremely hot. But if you go a little bit more up north, for the most part at this time of the year, it's going to be pretty freezing. So my suggestion, offer a few different variations, just like you would any other product. Okay, next up at number four, we have hoodies, but not just any hoodies. I'm talking about crop top hoodies. So crop tops are all the rage on Etsy. Do people still say all the rage? Did that just show my age? Hmm. Anyway, people go crazy over crop tops. For the last two or three years, I actually had a particular crop top on my store. It was a festive one for St. Patrick's Day, but every single year for the past three years, I think it's been, that design goes absolutely bonkers i sell tons of them just to give you an idea of what it is it's a leprechaun holding a beer and it's puking out a rainbow that simple design has made me a few thousand dollars actually oh man and that's just in a regular t-shirt if i had put it on a hoodie i would have been able to make so much more money for one hoodies can be sold at way higher prices a hoodie can start off easily at 59.99 so looking at this one right here, you can see that this one actually just starts off at $72. Another thing, check out the design that she has on here. It has to do with the different moon phases. So right now, niching down, it's more important than it's ever been. So always look for certain niches that you can see that are trending. Right now, we just came across two different products that have tons of different sales and they have similar designs having to do with space and the moon phases. So just by looking at that, you can see that that could be a particular topic or a particular niche that you can really capitalize on. Now, look through some of these different pictures. You can see they have some really high quality image of the actual hoodie itself. Everything looks great. But this is one thing that stands out more than anything. The fact that they have a sizing chart. So a lot of people don't offer sizing charts. This is extremely important, especially when it comes to garments that are a bit irregular in size. So for crop tops. The crop can be a little bit higher, it could be lower, it could be wider. It really all depends on the brand. So being able to have some sort of reference for your customer, like the sizing chart, is absolutely fantastic. Trust me, your customers are going to appreciate it. I learned this the hard way because I realized after a while, people are always asking me about the sizing of my shirts. In which case, it finally clicked and I thought, wait, 
<laughs> I need a sizing chart. So after that, I got a sizing chart. I put it on my product page and that was actually the end of those questions. And I started to get a bit more sales. The next thing I do want to show you guys is this right here. And that's just the fact that they're offering this hoodie in a few different colors, but they're not offering it in too many colors. If you give your customers a ton of different options, sometimes they feel overwhelmed and they won't even make a selection in the first place. That can actually deter the customer from making a purchase sometimes. So when it comes to offering different colors or different color variations for your products, try to stick to a handful, maybe five, six, maybe seven or eight. But the less you offer, the better. But of course, don't just offer one or two. You do have to give a few options. My suggestion, stick to about five or six. All right, so this last product I'm going to give you, I think is probably one of the cooler ones. This is one that I haven't seen in too many stores or too many print providers. A lot of people don't offer this. But if you're using AutoDS, you have the option to print these. And I'm talking about shoes. Yes, you can print on demand shoes. You can customize shoes however you'd like. Just take a look at these right here. Now this itself, from the research that I did, this is a famous painting. This is A Starry Night by Van Gogh. But from my understanding, from what I'm looking at right here, is that this is actually public domain. So you're able to sell this. So this looks really cool. As you can see, on one side you have part of it, and then on the other side you have the other part of the painting. This is what Print On Demand was made for, to be able to create unique items, things that other people don't have, things that other people aren't offering. This is your time to shine, and this is when you can really start letting your creativity just run loose and start coming out with products that nobody else is offering. Time has come. Or at least coming out with products that have some really unique and interesting designs that other people aren't offering. Would I sell this Starry Night? Probably not, just because it's already being offered. And even though it is public domain and it's not copyright anymore, it is still somebody else's work. It's not mine. So I would prefer coming up with something original. But regardless, being able to come up with customized shoes like these is, it's just a gold mine that's waiting to be tapped into. And just look at how much this is selling at. $70 and it's in seven people's carts. And it's actually on sale down from $100. And yes, you have the option to offer these through the AutoDS system. So you're pretty much sitting on a gold mine right now. You need to start taking advantage before all of this starts blowing up even more. Now, those are my top five suggestions for the best print on demand items that you should be offering right now. What are your thoughts on print on demand? I really want to hear them. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you want to try print on demand? Is it something that you've been wanting to test out the waters with? Are you excited about the new AutoDS print on demand feature release? Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, it truly means the world to me that you watch the entire thing. If that is the case, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS. I'll catch you all next time.